a big um, ruby necklace mm -hmm. and a sapphire necklace with sapphire earrings and sapphire ring mm -hmm. with diamonds. You want to be Americano, Americano. Peter comes on her Sundays to help you get sponges, to help you to pay for a boat. In the golden age of Hollywood, there reigned a queen, not of American soil, but of the sun-drenched hills of Italy. Her beauty was legendary, a siren song that lured the world's most powerful men. Her talent, a force of nature that transcended language and culture. From the war-torn streets of Naples to the glittering red carpets of Hollywood, Sophia Loren's journey is a testament to the transformative power of ambition, resilience, and a sprinkle of Italian magic. Before we dive into the captivating story of an icon, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. You won't want to miss a single chapter of this incredible journey, early life. Sophia Loren's story begins in the heart of Rome, where she was born Sophia Villani Siccolone in 1934. However, her early years were far from glamorous. Her father, a charming but unreliable man, refused to marry her mother leaving the young family to fend for themselves in the impoverished outskirts of Naples. Sophia grew up amidst the chaos and hardship of World War II. Food was scarce, bombs fell from the sky, and her childhood was marked by a sense of longing for a better life. Yet, even amidst the rubble, Sophia's striking beauty began to bloom. Despite the challenges, Sophia refused to be defined by her circumstances. She found solace in the dreams her mother harbored of a life on the stage. In the evenings, their small apartment transformed into a makeshift theater where Romilda played the piano and Maria, Sophia's younger sister, sang. Sophia, with her natural charisma and dramatic flair, was the star performer. To make ends meet, Sophia's grandmother opened a small pub in their living room. Sophia worked as a waitress, serving drinks to American soldiers stationed nearby. It was here, amidst the clinking glasses and boisterous laughter, that Sophia's confidence began to grow. She honed her charm, her wit, and her ability to captivate an audience. At 14, Sophia's life took an unexpected turn when she entered a beauty contest. Her exotic beauty and captivating presence caught the eye of film producer Carlo Ponti, who would soon become her mentor and, eventually, her husband. This marked the beginning of Sophia's transformation from a war-torn urchin to the international icon she would become. Debut in the industry. Carlo Ponti, the film producer who had taken Sophia under his wing, saw her potential and began to mold her into a star. He changed her name to the more alluring Sophia Loren and encouraged her to take acting lessons. Sophia's early roles were minor, often uncredited appearances in Italian films. She played a slave girl in Quo Vadis. Excuse me, I must decorate the table. An odalisk in Era Louis, C, C, and gradually worked her way up to more substantial parts. Her beauty was undeniable, but it was her raw talent and fierce determination that set her apart. In 1953, Sophia landed her first starring role in Ada. Although she lip-synced to the vocals of a professional opera singer, her performance was praised for its emotional intensity and captivating screen presence. But it was Vittorio De Sica's The Gold of Naples that catapulted Sophia to stardom. Her portrayal of a feisty Neapolitan pizza seller, full of life and passion, resonated with audiences and critics alike. Sophia's performance was a revelation. <laughs> Showcasing her comedic timing, dramatic range, and irresistible charm. With the gold of Naples, Sophia Loren had arrived. She had become a bona fide star, not just in Italy, but on the world's stage. The film marked the beginning of a career that would span decades, filled with iconic roles, unforgettable performances, and an enduring legacy that continues to inspire. Career. The 1950s marked Sophia's ascension to international stardom. In 1956, she signed a five-picture contract with Paramount Pictures, which propelled her into the realm of Hollywood royalty. She became known for her captivating beauty, often cast as a seductive temptress in films like Boy and a Dolphin. With a boy and a dolphin. But sir! Dive until he runs out of patience. And the pride and the passion. <laughs> Sophia quickly proved she was more than just a pretty face. She starred alongside leading men like Cary Grant in the charming romantic comedy Houseboat. Voila. I don't remember. A bottle of Chianti. And held her own against the intense charisma of Marlon Brando in Charlie Chaplin's A Countess from Hong Kong. Well, let's face it, I've stowed away. You what? 
But it was her role in Vittorio De Sica's Two Women, 1960, that solidified her place as a serious actress. Go. Her raw and heartbreaking portrayal of a mother. <laughs> struggling to protect her daughter in war-torn Italy, earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress, a historic first for a non-English language performance. Throughout the 1960s, Sofia's career soared to even greater heights. She commanded top billing in epic productions like El Cid. Why did you come, Rodrigo? Did you think the woman you chose to love? Alongside Charlton Heston, and starred in the comedic masterpiece Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow with Marcello Mastroianni. La domenica mi lasci sempre sola. Her films consistently topped box office charts, making her one of the most sought-after actresses in the world. Sofia's versatility was unparalleled. She effortlessly transitioned from drama to comedy, from historical epics to contemporary romances. Her ability to embody complex characters with depth and authenticity earned her critical acclaim and the adoration of audiences worldwide. Even as she entered motherhood in the late 1960s, Sofia's career continued to flourish. She starred in films like Sunflower and The Voyage, further cementing her reputation as a global icon. In the later years of her career, Sofia remained a captivating force on screen. She charmed audiences in grumpier old men, Maria Sofia Colletta Raghetti, alongside Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau, and showcased her enduring talent in Rob Marshall's musical Nine, alongside a star-studded cast. Sofia Loren's career is a testament to her extraordinary talent, resilience, and unwavering passion for her craft. Her films continue to captivate audiences, and her legacy as a true icon of cinema remains as radiant as ever. Personal life. Sofia Loren's personal life was as captivating as her on-screen roles, filled with passionate love, family devotion, and a touch of scandal. At the heart of it all was her tumultuous relationship with film producer Carlo Ponti, a man 22 years her senior. Their love affair began when Sofia was just 16, and Carlo was already a powerful figure in the film industry. Their connection was immediate and intense, but their path to happiness was fraught with obstacles. Carlo was still legally married to his first wife, and their relationship sparked controversy and disapproval. In 1957, they defied societal norms and secretly married in Mexico, but their union was annulled a few years later to avoid bigamy charges. Despite the setbacks, their love endured. After obtaining a French divorce, they remarried in 1966, finally solidifying their commitment. Their marriage blossomed into a true partnership, both personally and and professionally. Carlo became Sofia's manager, guiding her career and protecting her interests. They raised two sons together, Carlo Jr. and Eduardo, who would later follow in their parents' footsteps in the film industry. While their love story was often in the spotlight, Sofia and Carlo also valued their privacy. They cherished their family life retreating to their luxurious villa in Switzerland whenever possible. Carlo passed away in 2007, leaving Sofia heartbroken, but forever grateful for their enduring love. She continues to hold him close to her heart, remembering the passion, support, and unwavering devotion that define their extraordinary relationship, awards, and achievements. Sofia Loren's illustrious career has been showered with awards and recognition. Testament to her extraordinary talent and impact on the world of cinema. Her trophy case gleams with prestigious honors from around the globe, each one representing a milestone in her remarkable journey. In 1962, Sofia made history as the first actress to win an Academy Award for Best Actress for a Foreign Language Performance in Two Women. Oh, they never tell you that they make them like that in Russia. This groundbreaking achievement cemented her status as a global icon and opened doors for international actresses in Hollywood. Sofia's charisma and talent earned her the adoration of fans worldwide leading to five Golden Globe Awards as the World Film Favorite Female. She also received the Cecil B. DeMille Award. Gratify me. We have been working together throughout the years. A prestigious lifetime achievement honor. In 1991, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences honored Sophia with an honorary Oscar for her career rich with memorable performances recognizing her enduring contributions to the art of filmmaking. The list of Sofia's accolades is extensive. She holds the record for the most David de Donatello awards. Sofia Loren, per il film La Vita Davanti a Se. For Best Actress, Italy's equivalent of the Oscars. She has also received a BAFTA award, a Grammy award, and top honors from the Cannes and Venice Film Festivals. Beyond her acting achievements, Sofia has been celebrated for her humanitarian work and contributions to society. 
She has received numerous honorary degrees and was appointed a Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic. In 1999, the American Film Institute named Sophia among the greatest female stars of classic Hollywood cinema, solidifying her place among the most iconic and influential actresses of all time. Sophia Loren's name has become synonymous with grace, beauty, and timeless talent. Her awards and achievements are a testament to her extraordinary career, her enduring legacy, and her unwavering dedication to the art of storytelling. Success for an Italian movie. Retired life and legacy. As Sophia entered her later years, she gracefully transitioned away from the constant demands of Hollywood, embracing a more serene lifestyle that allowed her to focus on her passions and personal life. She remained selective about her film projects only accepting roles that truly resonated with her. While stepping back from the limelight, Sophia never fully retired. She continued to make occasional appearances on screen, reminding audiences of her timeless elegance and undeniable talent. She also ventured into other creative endeavors, publishing cookbooks that shared her love for Italian cuisine and launching a successful line of eyewear and perfumes. Sophia's influence extended far beyond the silver screen. Her iconic style, marked by her signature cat eye glasses and elegant fashion sense, inspired generations of women. Her beauty routines and healthy lifestyle choices became the subject of countless magazine articles and interviews. Sophia's legacy is not just that of an actress, but of a cultural icon who redefined beauty standards and empowered women to embrace their individuality. She became a symbol of Italian sophistication and a role model for aspiring actresses around the world. Her impact on the film industry is immeasurable. She paved the way for international actresses to achieve success in Hollywood and challenged traditional notions of female roles in cinema. Her films continue to be celebrated for their artistry. For you, all the way from Madison. And her performances remain a masterclass in acting. Sophia Loren's legacy is one of timeless beauty, extraordinary talent, and unwavering resilience. She is an inspiration to generation, true legend whose impact on cinema and popular culture will continue to be felt for years to come. Current life. Today, Sophia Loren resides in Geneva, Switzerland, enjoying a well-deserved, peaceful life. Though her film appearances have become less frequent, her passion for life and her love for her family remains as strong as ever. Sophia cherishes her time with her two sons, their wives, and her four grandchildren. She continues to be an inspiration to them, sharing her wisdom, love, and unwavering spirit. While she may no longer be in the spotlight as often, Sophia's presence is still felt in the world of cinema and beyond. Her timeless beauty, captivating performances. I didn't do this or know about this. Riff must have come here. An inspiring life story continue to resonate with people of all ages and backgrounds. The MSC Meraviglia and très très bon voyage. Sophia Loren's journey is a testament to the power of dreams, perseverance, and unwavering self-belief. She rose from humble beginnings to become a global icon, forever etching her name in the annals of cinema history. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories of Hollywood legends.